as you know, <laughs> I, you know, I can mess up boiling water. I'm I am so absolutely pleased rubbish. to hear this, Lorraine, that <laughs> you're rubbish. confessing this because it's quite a big deal to it confess. Is. I know, you know and I feel a... quite ashamed of myself. I know, me too. <laughs> it's terrible. But you've learned from the master. Well, I certainly have. Yeah, I, but have I you got better have. now? Can no, you do? Th have you got like a repertoire now? Come round for my stir fried beef. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is yeah. that your signature? Dish? And you know, so long the kids, my poor children. You know, I used to say, you know, they say, "Mom, is, is dinner ready?" I says, "Yes, dinner's ready." And they say, "Did you make it, Mum?" <laughs> and I go, "Yes." And they go. Oh, that's exactly <laughs> what Rosie is feeling for me. She said, I'm, I'm bringing some friends around. Make sure Dad makes the tea. <laughs> no longer, though. No longer. No longer. Gorgeous no longer, chicken longer. tray bake. I, I and actually, do. these recipes, I think I could do them. You could. You well, they're, they're, I wouldn't say, I mean, but they're, they're doable, they're all vet and they're quick and they're easy and also well, well, good for you. Kay gave me lots of rules and regulations. It had to be very few ingredients yeah. right. that, she, that she understood what all of them meant. Yeah. And I had to give all these tiny little tips that people that can cook just take for granted. Right, okay. So every... I think that is a key thing, because when we were thinking about this, I would say to... Nadia would say, well, you just do this, you do this. And I'd say, but how do you do that? And what, how, she didn't know what, what transparent onions meant. And I guess I don't know what transparent... <laughs> so it's, it is starting, oh, so it's <laughs> but it's starting from the premise that you are not a chefy person and you don't know the chefy language. So it's not that you can't do it, right? But you just kind of need to go back to basics a little mm. bit. And we've got some diagrams in there and some little speech bubbles <laughs> and things like that. It is like you're so. talking to me, actually. That's what I like about it. Is I can hear your voice. You know, yeah. saying, do this, do this, do this. Yeah, yeah that works really well. That's really well. what we wanted because we've our, you know, our social media channels. Yes, a lot of when we're cooking is also all the nonsense yeah. that we get yeah. up to. So, so the challenge was to get that into the book. Yeah. So that's why we came up with the speech bubbles. I right love your YouTube channel. Oh, thank it's you. It's like being in your company. Oh, Do you know what I mean? You sure really you love is. it? <laughs> <laughs> it's great, though, and, and your friendship just comes across. Yeah. She's very bossy, though, don't you think? Very Lorraine? bossy. Very, very bossy. I have to bossy. be with you because you're so annoying. <laughs> you're so patronising. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's because you're so smug. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you we love each up, other. No, they do. No, but that, that's the, the thing about you two, as you can see, you've always got to have that pal that you can say anything to. Yeah. Like, you know the way that if you put something on and some people will say, that really suits you, I yeah. want the friend that will say, yeah. uh-uh. Oh, yeah. well. And yeah. you are those friends. Yeah, yeah, we are. That's Absolutely. Really I mean, I've got my favourite shirt that I don't want to get rid of. And I said to her, what do you think? She said, oh, get rid of it. It's terrible. It makes your breasts look flat. <laughs> the colours dreadful. I've blah, always blah, blah, blah. hated you in it every time you've worn it. I've always I've... felt depressed when you walked through the door with it on. <laughs> Uh, but it's in the back of my cupboard, I'm not like... I know, go. there are garments like that that we just want to hang on to. But you two started off Loose Women the very first episode. Yeah. And yeah. here we are. Yeah. I know. 18 these... years ago. Know, and amazing. I looked at her and thought, oh, God, at the, at, the, at the audition, I looked at her and thought, oh, dear, I hope I never see her again. Did we you? won't get on at all. Oh, look at that. Gosh, and, look. and you were the same about me, weren't you? Just look at you bouncing head. all over the shop. <laughs> <laughs> In the nicest possible way. Yeah. Gosh, that feels like yesterday, doesn't it? Isn't it? It's remarkable. Oh, look at me there. Oh. I had so much hair. <laughs> I like your hair. Your hair's mm. good. And I do, like I say, I do love that the channel is great. But you two, although you're really good mates, you did lose touch for a while, didn't you? The way that things can happen yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we did. And that's, that's often reported as that we fell out and we, we've never fallen no. out. It was, do you know what? I was, I was just going through some really tricky times in my life. And I always had this thing about Kay, you know, like when she was a bit like the head girl at school. And it's like, I never could quite believe that I was like a good enough person to be her friend. She was so clever and she could <laughs> ski and she can horse ride. Now I can cook that. She was <laughs> And I did, you know, that thing sometimes with your friends, you don't call back and then it goes on for a bit and then you feel embarrassed yeah, and then yeah, it goes yeah. on and on. Mm. And we had one of those. And I think and a lot of people have that. Yeah. And then one day I contacted Ken and said, God, I feel really bad. It's been all this time. She went, you're one of my favourite people in the world when we're meeting up. And that was it. Perfect. And now we're in. And do you know, there are some pals that you don't see them for a few years, and you can, it's almost like you pick up the conversation. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You just pick up the conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I appreciated that Nadia had a lot going on in her life yeah. with her immediate family. And I do think, much as we are great, great friends, and I can't get rid of her now, frankly. <laughs> no. um, when it comes down to the really tough times when you've got immediate family, you've got to batten down the hatches. Mm, and yeah. I completely appreciated that. So there was never any issue with it. Sure. And when she was ready to pick up the phone, I was delighted to do it. So that was perfect, it. perfect, and this is great. I'm going to try this. I promise, promise, oh, do, promise. Please, please and you've been so good because you're going to do some stuff for us as well, aren't you? So that people can actually see oh, yes. the how they do it. We filmed some of it. It's riotous. Yes, <laughs> it is. We, we can't get away from innuendo. I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> innuendo, <laughs> sorry. Makes the world go down. Yeah. 
Jane. To it look does. Lovely. Thanks, guys. Thank you so oh. much.